Am I starting? Yeah, I think you better. What? This is your show. You start it. Kirby is here now. <laughs> what? You have to start it There's like a it's Kirby show of the weekend. What's th oh yeah, sorry, with yeah. some irreverent and I'm here, fun. I'm here. Whoa, what's that floating over the, the the hill? It's Kirby. Oh, he's eaten producer John. I don't. Oh, and absorbed his powers. Is that what? That, you know, and now he's walking up to the camera. Whoop, 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 and he's checking the mic level. He's doing producer John's job now because he's okay. absorbed his he's powers. He's absorbed right, so yeah. he can run the camera. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, as long he's as someone's... Doing, he's doing a good job. As long as someone's doing it. He's doing a good job. Do we have to pay Kirby? I don't think so. He looks like... He, I mean, he shouldn't have started working without talking about Even a better. contract. He's uncontracted. Nice. <laughs> 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 we can work him to the bone. Does Kirby have bones? Uh, Kirby has... Kirby is bones. Kirby <laughs> only has it's, bones. Wow. They're just so small. Yeah. That they sort of are a dense, squashy, they're light like a bird's. Anyway, Horror. as you've probably guessed, this is Show of the Weekend. Show of the Weekend! And I'm Ellen. And I'm Luke. And we're going to talk about Kirby's new game, the name of which escapes me. And the... For <laughs> <laughs> for for forbidden Zone. Forbidden, the Forgotten Land. For 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 forbidden West. Show of the Weekend, Show of the Weekend, Show of the Weekend, Show of the Weekend, Show of the Weekend. I'm excited, Andy, a new Kirby game at last. And this one is, an, is set in post-apocalyptic Earth. We've been waiting so long yeah, for this Kirby, so this Kirby character to come back yeah. and provide meaning <laughs> to our, to <laughs> to our lives. lives. After the year we've had, yeah. we need only, only one little pink blob can rescue us now. That's right. And it's Kirby. But oh no, humanity has died in Kirby's new but world. The foxes, are, there are plenty of them. Yeah. So don't even worry about it. Kirby can eat a car, drive yeah. around the car. Problem solved. <laughs> In conclusion, the game looks great, but I think you've prepared a quiz, a Kirby quiz for me, haven't you, Andy? Mm. <laughs> Luke, Kirby <laughs> and the <laughs> Forgotten Land is the new Kirby game in which everyone's favourite pink shape makes its way <laughs> <laughs> makes his way through a post-apocalyptic <laughs> world, inhaling foxes and sometimes cars. Yeah. But how well do you know Kirby? Very well. Let's find out. Uh oh. In this Kirby quiz. Oh no. I should have crammed. Okay, okay, so to start with, just, that was there. just okay. to get an idea of what we're working with, I want you to draw Kirby from memory. Okay, easy. You would think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. Pretty good freehand circle. Is right. that it? Or no, that's, that's yeah, that's it. And then, <laughs> I and mean, then, it's quite accurate already. Yeah. Uh, all right, and then he's got little flippers. Right. There they are. Uh, now his feet are a sort of shape. Yeah. Uh, now the mouth is about this Ooh, much wow. of Kirby. You've got, uh, you sort of caught him mid inhale there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kirby's often mid inhale. Now the eyes obviously are massive. I don't want to accidentally do them too small. Mm -hmm. And they're sort of anime eyes, which are easy enough for me to draw because I've um, studied the art form, read all the books. And yeah. anime uh, and Kirby has those like extra watery anime eyes. Sure. Because he's so sad. So I'm going to just do like an extra little bit there. Uh, and then, I guess... <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have looked at it this way around. It doesn't look very good, does it? It's more of a kind of poly whirl. Yeah, uh, well, hang on, I can still save this. Does Kirby have a tongue? So confident you were. If I imagine this. a line here to denote the inside of the mouth, Maybe I should do rifling, <laughs> like, <laughs> like sort of spiral lines here. <laughs> yeah, fine. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I think Kirby has like kind of little blushy cheeks. Oh, maybe I'm just imagining a blushing Kirby. It does look like a parrot beak as it is, so I'm going to have to do. <laughs> so I'm going to have to. Just now that you've said that. Uh, maybe if I just do some sort of cross hatching here to imply the void. The and space then between the stars. The space between the stars inside Kirby. Go. And then I'll just sort of, this is a tongue. And just, oh, actually, you know what? This would have been a better color, base Kirby color. Actually, yeah. 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 You, have, Good. Uh, you have left out the, the rosy cheeks. Oh, there were rosy yeah. cheeks. Damn. Can I draw them on now? You can draw them on now. I'll allow it. They're a very distinctive shape as well, aren't they? Yeah. And they're like, yeah. I've decided I'm going to give you the point. Good. I'm generous. Good. That is actually yeah. crucial, isn't it? That's that's improved it tenfold. Mm. Hang on, we might. There we go. There we go. Our new presenter, Kirby, 
wasn't always called Kirby. Oh, no, in fact, guess. during early development of the game, he had a different name entirely. What was that name? And I'll give you multiple choice. Was it Mamu? Was it Putaro? Was it Popopo? Or was it Boru? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Popopo. Popopo? Yeah. Is the answer you're going for? Yeah, I think so. Correct. The game was originally called Twinkle Popo. Yay! And the game starred popular character popular Popo character. Popo. Po -po -po -po. <laughs> I guess that um, is the same naming convention as King D D D. Yeah. So actually, you know, so, Popo -po, D D D D D D. Sounds like vocal warm-ups. Yeah. Popo -po -po. Po -po -po, D D D D D D D D D Kirby was named Kirby after John Kirby, a lawyer who defended Nintendo in the 1984 court case Universal City Studios Inc. versus Nintendo Co. Limited. Okay. But what was the basis of this lawsuit? Oh, wow, great question. Well, thinking about the era, I can only make a guess. I'm gonna say it was to do with Donkey Kong. Uh, had <laughs> Donkey Kong been charged with destruction of property? <laughs> Uh, a fray. He needed a damn fine lawyer to, to, get, to, him out of to get, get him out of the slammer. Going away for a long time. He raced that ape. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to say it was a copyright thing to do with the Nintendo seal of quality. <laughs> yeah, you're on the right lines. Universal Studios alleged that Nintendo's video game Donkey Kong was a trademark infringement of King Kong. Oh wow! The plot okay. and characters of which Universal claimed oh, as oh, their own. No, uh, no way. You, no way was You can't own Kong, man. You can't own the idea of a giant ape with Kong in its name. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they won. They won the. They won the case. Great. Because thanks to thanks to yeah. Kirby. John nice. Kirby was like, you can't like own an ape, man. Exactly. And Nintendo was allowed to yeah. continue stealing. <laughs> this, Universal. This is not the position of outside Xbox LLC. <laughs> These are the. Uh, um, These are the individual. <laughs> Of one individual. Yeah. Of Luke Westaway LLC. Yeah. Question number four. Despite first appearing on the monochrome Game Boy, Kirby creator Masahiro Sakurai always intended Kirby to be pink. But Shigeru Miyamoto envisioned a different colour. What was it? On the original Game Boy yeah. cover for uh, Kirby is white, I'm pretty sure. So maybe that or... You think I'm say... Miyamoto's making the decisions about the, the cover? Grow, I'm gonna, grow up. <laughs> I'm going to say... <laughs> get real. Miyamoto, he often takes the unexpected route. I'm going to say he was very confident that Kirby should have been blue. Blue? Yeah. Interesting. What makes you say that? Um, I, I want to get inside the Shigeru Miyamoto headspace you're imagining here. Okay, I He's just He's playing think, the black and white Game Boy. He sees playing Kirby. Black and white Game Boy. He sees Kirby, who is, you know, monochrome, completely without any sort of hue. And I think all oh, Shigzi would probably look at that and go... Looks like a blueberry to me. He would apply his unique, his unique, yeah, brain. It took an powers. outsider. Okay, well, uh, the answer is actually yellow. Oh, okay. And then in walked Sakurai, and said, "Yep, there's my pink Kirby." And Miyamoto's Still sh down. shoes and socks blew off. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sakurai. He must have had to stand up for his vision. Yeah. Miyamoto's like, yes, and just one thing left to do: color <laughs> Kirby <laughs> yellow. <laughs> to delete this, this pink here and just. <laughs> Mr. My, just Mr. Miyamoto, my, we all respect. Video you know. game brush here. Uh, uh, Mr. Miyamoto, I was thinking he, I, he touched the brush. <laughs> <laughs> I know you invented Mario and you invented Zelda. You touched the brush. And all I've invented is Kirby, who's worse. But I was thinking, <laughs> but I was thinking Kirby could be pink. It was an in, it was it was a Men in Black style initiative test, and yep. Sakurai passed. And that's when the bit in RoboCop where Ed Two Hundred Nine shoots that executive. <laughs> that's when that happened. Yeah, that was based on the scene <laughs> that followed. Thankfully, <laughs> Sakurai survived. Miyamoto um, bumped him down to Smash Brothers. He said, <laughs> he, he said "You're out of this department. You have yeah. to make Smash Brothers now." Oh, forever. what? Yeah, Sma Smash it's, Brothers. It's so hard. <laughs> it's, like, it's so weird. Oh. But he got his revenge by putting a really quite <laughs> disproportionately high amount. amount of Kirby in Smash Brothers. Yeah. All right, question five. Kirby seems like a hefty little sphere, doesn't he? Yes. But we do actually know how large Kirby is, thanks to Nintendo having released his official height. But is that <laughs> under official... Under caving to pressure. <laughs> under the Freedom of Information <laughs> Act, they were forced to release Kirby's height. Seeing as it's been 25 years, you can now make a request. <laughs> they, they have to release the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> the classified documents, the CIA's investigation uh, into Kirby's height. But is that official height? A, eight inches. 
B, two feet. C, five feet. Or D, ten feet. <laughs> it can't be ten feet. That would be too frightening. I think it's five feet, but I will say that in my mind, Kirby has always been about yay bit. About like... About two yeah, feet. Yeah, the, the size of a sort of standard beach volleyball. And yet you're not Actually, guessing two feet. Not a beach volleyball. You know what I mean? Like an inflatable ball that you play with in the sea. Like a beach ball. A beach, a beach ball, thank mm. you. Yeah, Kirby is the size of a beach ball and just as thrilling to kick hard into the sea. Oh, no, two feet. Two feet. I'm going two feet. You're going two feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fred, you're incorrect. <sighs> the actual official height of Kirby is 30 centimetres or eight inches tall. <laughs> what? He's, he's Kirby's tiny. Kirby's like this big. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's like tiny. Question number six. Yeah. Oh, no, Luke. Kirby has busted into the office and is going absolutely ape. Ah! Oh no, he's inhaled you, Luke Westaway. Ah! What powers does he get? Oh boy. Um, I think... I guess height. He'd be taller than eight inches. He'd be long and, yeah, yeah long, long and, and stretched out, thin, yeah. like a funhouse mirror Kirby. Mm. Yeah, actually, you know, as a gameplay mechanic, a sort of very, very, very tall, thin Kirby is probably the frightening imagery that Nintendo <laughs> does. Slender Kirby. Yeah, Slender Kirby, yeah. And it can use that height to, well, I mean, just get get to sort of high platforms, really. Maybe there's a bit where um, there's like a Bloodborne boss that needs beating. <gasps> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it gets your Bloodborne skills. Yeah, that would be good. Yes. If, if they put Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower in the new Kirby game, which I think I've seen rumours that they have done. Yeah. If, if Kirby's like, I can't do this, Lady Maria keeps getting me with her whirling hurricane of blood. Mm. Um, just absorb me and I'll sort that right out. Sort that out for you. Sort that out for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What change did Nintendo famously used to make to Kirby's appearance for American box art versus Japanese box art? Oh, I think I know this. Did they give Kirby an angry face for the Western releases to make Kirby more edgy and sick? Correct. They used to make Kirby look angry. Yeah, um, there it is. This is Kirby's air ride box art. There yeah. he's just in the Japanese one, just having a lovely old time riding a star. Yeah, but in the in the US one, he's riding it hardcore. An angry Kirby for, in, for, an, for the for the rage generation. Means business. Yeah. Look at him go. I know. He's wreck you. It, why bother? It, like you can put an angry face on Kirby, but it doesn't stop the fact that Kirby is an inherently sort of cute and harmless looking. It's a little bald. Yeah. yeah. Finally, yeah. Kirby is a central figure in the Smash Brothers universe and yes. considered a top tier fighter thanks to his copy ability. But what's the largest Smash Brothers character you think you could throw over a rugby goalpost? <laughs> now bear in mind a rugby goalpost is about three meters off the ground or 10 feet. Okay, um, bring up a list of, bring up the roster of Smash okay. Brothers Ultimate and I'll just quick fire yes or no, I could get them over. <laughs> All right, Mario. Yeah, get him over. Get Mario over a goalpost. Yeah, we, we must be fairly light. Or I guess he's quite he small jump? in... Yeah, we know his, we know his stature compared mm, to... But he's probably dense, isn't he? I reckon I reckon with a sort of discus style. Yeah, I could get Mario over. Okay. Um, and by extension, Luigi. Bowser? No, I couldn't talk about No, Bowser. Don't be okay. Yoshi? No, no, I don't think I could. No. Donkey Kong? No. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong, yes. <laughs> Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong, and get it out of the stadium. <laughs> Diddy Swing Kong. him around by the tail. If you had a like, like a discus motion, you could. Yeah, just yeah, you could probably. him out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Young Link. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if Young Link, then Toon Link for sure. Toon Link, yes. Toon Link. Toon Link weighs nothing because it's two dimensional. Regular Link? Regular Link, no. Okay. Not with the shield. Fox McCloud. Yes, I could def, def, I could throw Fox over as okay. rugby posts. All of and, these, and I and I would love the opportunity. All of these Pokemon, for sure. Right? Well Pikachu, Jigglypuff. Yes, yes. Pichu. Yes. Charizard? No. Can't I, throw Charizard over. No. Ivysaur? <laughs> Ivysaur, I would say no based on weight, but I could take hold of its vines, mm. and I think that would just give you so yeah. such an advantage. Yeah, why not? Mega Man. No, seems heavy. We Fit Trainer. No. Ryu from Street Fighter. Absolutely not. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Please let me try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Isabel from Animal Crossing. Yes. Okay. But don't, yeah, if you didn't catch that, Jesus John said, but don't. <laughs> uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, would Kazooie assist? Probably would sort of fluttering. Start panic fluttering. I expect. Banjo seems hefty. Yeah, I could, yeah, yeah, sure, let's say yes. Okay, so I reckon out of all of them, the largest one... <laughs> Duck Hunt would be a pretty easy one, because, you know, the dog is You being... ever tried to throw a dog over a rugby goalpost? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, good Actually, answer. you know what? Piranha plant is probably... Piranha plant is massive. Not very aerodynamic either. Yeah, and but pretty light, I think. Yeah. It'd be like throwing a fern. All right. I Maybe would probably go. enjoy throwing Pac-Man over the... I think that'd be oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Just like... <clears throat> this real lob. Oh, he hasn't quite cleared it. Yeah, he <laughs> just... Bonk. <laughs> 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 so, friends, I hope you know more about Kirby and Forbidden the, West. The Forbidden West. Yep. In which Kirby eats a car despite being eight inches tall. Yeah. What's that about? <laughs> uh, there's a demo for the game. I haven't played it yet, but everyone says it's great. How can it be good if Kirby isn't the intended colour yellow that Miyamoto wanted? Yeah. Sakurai's like, Mr. Miyamoto, did you play the new Kirby game? getting rave reviews. I've told you I will never play Kirby until he's yellow like he should be. <laughs> get out of my office. Do you want to get bumped down to... <laughs> what else have we got? Don't make me put the sacked in Sakurai. Don't make me put you on Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Twist. New Smash Brothers is 90% Dr. Mario. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching folks. Hope you enjoyed this quiz. And remember, join the OX Supporters Club on Patreon. Yes. Uh, to help us make more of this kind of nonsense. Go to <laughs> patreon.com forward slash OX Club. There's uh, a Discord. You can ask questions to the team. I imagine you will yeah. have many questions. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can put them to us. Yeah. Uh, and we'll do our best to answer. Cool. Good Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.